How to hook a Pisces. <sighs> if you hooked a Pisces and they got a wonderful crush on you, you should let them keep their crush on you because they change their world. When they got a crush on you, you change their whole world. Might as well just let them keep the crush. Don't even, you don't even have to act on the crush, but it would be nice if you would sweep that Pisces away, because they're in dream world. <clears throat> and they're going to remain there. Yeah, rescue, coming to rescue you or being rescued. I don't really know. They're like, here to want to save everybody. Like, Jesus is a Pisces, Capricorn rising, moon, and Aquarius. Mm-hmm. You think that his midheaven is Libra or Scorpio, and his fourth house could be the place at home, which is Aries, the I am, or the I have. And his midheaven, would it be remembered as Libra, I balance, the dark and light, uh, and I'm really good at relationships, because, like, I'll ignore the, um, conflicts of, uh, whatever it's called, and even, like, religion, <laughs> Like, there was conflict with that creation and stuff. And then, um, whatever, Pisces are like the divisioners. Um, they are like the time where Avril Lavigne didn't like pink and it was like goth against crabs. <laughs> that was really fun. And then they came together and it became all emo and had certain ugly bull crap. And But, you know, everyone got to deal with everyone's reality. And, you know, Pisces are just the hippies. Yay. <laughs> so, let the Pisces stay in their fantasy, because that's all they live for anyways. They want to live there and escape with you and their heart and all that bullshit. 